Okay, I think it's time for Gaston to take the lead now. Actually, scratch that, Rosemary should get some chances to move. Yeah, this is my style as well. I always put Pokemon that are low slow up front, so that everyone's at equal level. Ready to go. It's a fair training experience. And Route 217 <coughs> is where things get interesting. Also, Malian's here. Are you maybe on your way to Snowpoint City? That's where I'm going too. If I use Fly, I could get there instantly, but I'm walking for my training. I have no problem with this. I'm used to the cold because I go barefoot and lightly dressed. Are you sure about that, Maylene? So, nice seeing you. Anyway, there's a lot of blizzard going on here, and it's going to slow down a lot. This cold is nothing but compared to the fire that burns my heart. Alright, what do you have? Something new? Electabuzz! We haven't seen that one yet, so yeah, that is new. But you're no match for Rose Raid and the powerful Pedal Dance. Although this gives another story. Oh, I kind of like Electabuzz. Okay, you know what? I don't like you anymore. I take it back. I don't like you anymore. You're mean. and just use pedal dance, please. You can do it, I believe in you. This all a pack of wallop? This should definitely pack a wallop. I'm surprised it didn't kill it. I thought for sure that would do it, because pedal dance is a pretty powerful attack, and Rosary also has, I think, um, something that boosts its attack. Yep, yeah, it's it with your Pokemon. I, Never, never imagined to do that. Okay, I actually kind of want Pedal Dance to stop right now because if it doesn't, Rosemary's gonna faint. Because it can last for two or three turns, like Thrash and Outrage. Please stop. Okay, Confusion. That should be. Yes, it's done. All right, I withdraw. Castor done. I choose you. I'm only leaving this battle in because we've seen we haven't seen a death an electabuzz yet. Oof. You got some powerful attacks on them. And that was a crit too. The one that insult to injury would have burned me too. And that just would have made things a whole lot worse. Tell you what. Alright. Dang it! I really wish I didn't use Earthquake, that's gonna get cut in half. No! Stop! Okay, good, it was enough. Just enough. Well, that's a relief, I suppose. Well, I'm gonna have to go back to the lodge every time I... Every time something happens. Well, I'm gonna stay with Gastrodon. Electabuzz can, can't really take any hits right now, even though I'm burnt. Oh, Swift Mate actually hurt a little bit. Nope, done enough. Goodbye. There's the buzz. You're done for. Alright, cut as I go back to heal. I gotta say though, I really do dig the theme here. Unfortunately, the fact that there's snow means I can't use my bike in this weather. Because, who ever heard of riding a bike in the snow? That's just silly. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's a hidden ninja here. I have to battle. In fact, no, I don't have to battle you. I could just not ignore you completely. What about you? Do you have any new Pokemon that we haven't seen yet? Well, let's take a look. What do you have? I'll show you the techniques I drummed into me at ski school. No new battles. Waste of time. And Rosalind took a lot of heart damage. I'm not walking there. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this instead. Just to save time instead. Because why not? 
That's it. Break through the snow. You can do it. Just keep soldiering on. Is there a little something I want to show off here? Well, actually, there's a there's something we need to find first. Oh, another skier spinning out of control. Hello. What are you doing here? I'm using Dowsing Machine in my pocket. I'm looking for things buried under the snow. Um, I guess I should use that as a hint. Oh yes, here's a... This is an ice rock. If you have an Eevee with you, you can evolve it into Glaceon right here. Anyways, what's over here? Why is it so dark? A person? A rare sight? Thank you for visiting. A gift? Spell tag. Why is it so dark in this house? Jeez. Lady, you creep me out. Alright. There's actually kind of something we need to look for here. There's an, a very important HM that we need later. Yeah, rock climb. We need that. So it's very easy, it's very hard to miss. But if you do miss it, you have internet. And we got the TM for hail. Hail is kind of the least effective weather compared to rain dance, sunny day, and sandstorm. While I was flying wave through the blizzard, I dropped my HM. I still had rock climb, I'd scale the mountains. You found the hidden machine! I already gave enough for it, so you can keep it. I like honesty, here's your reward. An icicle plate. Ooh, this is gonna come in handy. Two beings some time and space set free from the original one. That icicle plate I found under the snow as well. I'm no expert, but it looks to be an ancient origin. Yeah. Every time you get plates, they have ancient text. Sometimes it's the same, sometimes they're different. Alright, Miss Skier, what do you have? Anything worth showing off? I've been skiing with Pokemon since I was five years old. Wow. Really? Just five? That's impressive. Oh, Hilo Swine. Ooh, okay. I guess we could show that one off. Hilo Swine. Actually got kind of a decent Pokemon in Generation 2 when it was introduced. Not so good in Generation 3. But again, Generation 4 and beyond, it got an absolute insane evolution in the form of Mamoswine. With strong HPs, very high attack, and good typing overall, and good moves overall. Being able to use Ice Shard and Earthquake. It's a dangerous threat. And there's a Glaceon! The last of the EV evolutions from the Pokedex that we need to catch. So... E Glaceon also focuses on special attack and I believe special and in defense as well. So it's a special bruiser in a way. But not the best evolution. It's kind of the second worst, but a little better than Flareon. I think Glaceon's a decent threat though. But speed's not that great. And that's what kind of sets it back. Anywho, that takes care of that battle. I repeat, huh? What? You lost. What's there to understand? Alright, brave the blizzard. Oh goodness gracious. I just like where I go. Hiya! I think this guy has a Riolu. Not quite sure, but let's take a look. Alright, Crow Gun. starts to fall yet again. Yes, there it is. Riolu. We need that for the Pokedex as well. And Riolu is, of course, the baby Pokemon, the pre-evolved form of Lucario. It was the same egg that Riley would have given us if my inventory wasn't full. But, whatever the case may be, at least we have it for the Pokedex. So, good to know. Achoo! Huh, bless you. Oh, the snow is unbearable. No one likes driving in snow or walking through it. Come on, we're almost there. Fight the blizzard. Oh, I have to battle you, though, don't I? 
in this weather? Can we reschedule? A Pokemon battle? No, 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 please, let's reschedule. What a waste of time that was. Should be here just stay at home where it's nice and warm. I don't know if the thing wore off. Perfect, okay! That's actually a good timing, too. That was actually the Pokemon I'm looking for. Okay, this is my, this is the sixth member of my team. This is the Pokemon I'm looking for. Swine up. Now then, we don't want to kill this thing. So let's be very, very careful. Beaveril, take the fall. And no one gets hurt. Except for you, but you don't matter. Okay. Uh, Rock Smash, let's try that. Okay, maybe this won't hurt too much. I don't think it'll hurt. Yeah, it didn't hurt. Except low its speed, that's it. And Beaver's gonna fall. It's a sad reality, but that's the case. Oh boy. I need to be very, very careful. My Pokemon are pretty much in a high level to actually KO it. Okay, what can I use so I don't KO this Pokemon? Uh, maybe Body Slam. Let's try Body Slam. This is the weakest possible attack I can do without crippling it. I should have saved state before I had the chance. Good news is it lowered defense. It didn't lower defense, so this won't kill it. Yeah! Well, try again later. A few moments later. You're kidding me. All I had to do was throw one Pokeball at full health. That's it. Ugh. Well, you know what? I'm thankful for it because there was no other way I could lower this health without one hit KOing it. All my Pokemon's attacks do too much damage for it to even survive. So you know what? I'm grateful this worked out great. Thank goodness. <sighs> well, you know what? Mission accomplished. We caught our sixth Pokemon. And not a moment too soon. Hey, Len. You finally came along. Slow as always. See how the rocks are all lumpy here? You can't collect these rocks until you get the snow point badge. So, he's gonna go fight off Team Galactic. Well, good luck, Bash. I'll join you eventually. By that I mean as soon as I get to, to the next gym. In this stupid godforsaken snow. Somebody call a snow plow. Call a snow plow. Right now. Okay. Here we are at Snow Point City. First, why don't we collect some of these things? More Ultra Balls, huh? Well, that's good to know. Alright. Go ahead and um, heal our Pokemon and switch up Bieberol for Swine Up right now, shall we? Oh, Aileen, how are you holding up? Well, first, let me heal my Pokemon and then I'll talk to you. Fast forward. I don't care if this looks bad, I just wanted to cut the bullshit. Ah, feeling cold, are you? You should know that Candace is a user of Ice type Pokemon. She's so sturdy, she wanted to practice against fighting types because that's what ice are weak to. And I guess I'll battle you. Never. Because you have nothing new. Alright, let's switch up a new swine up. Let's take a look what he has. Quirky nature. In other words, happily it's anything. In other words, this is a balanced nature. I'm content with this. Well, I no longer need you, Beaverall. You've had your uses until now, but your services will no longer be needed. Good news is we have two rare candies, so... There's a process to evolving Swine Up. Alright, we can skip this right now because Pile of Swine... Swine Up evolves into Pile of Swine right now. And now, the next step in evolving Pile of Swine... In a Mammoth Swine is having you to learn Ancient Power. 
However, and this is the big problem here, Hala Swineland's ancient power at level 1. Meaning, and this is a big if, if you if by some miracle you can catch a Hala Swine at level 1, it won't matter because you need you will need to have it remember the move ancient power. So, to do that, you need first make sure you have a heart scale in your inventory. Next, we're going to go all the way back to Pastoria City because there's an NPC there, a move rememberer, who can remember old Pokemon moves at the cost of a heart scale. We have one heart scale, so let's go ahead and fly to warmer weathers. Fly south for the winter and actually remember ancient power. I mean, it's an ancient memory after all, so I guess it makes sense. Okay. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Maniac. I prefer Move Tutor. I know every move that Pokemon learn when they level up. I can teach Pokemon those moves. I can teach a Pokemon of yours a moon, an old move if you like. If you have a heart scale. There's an honest secret to heart scale. You want to teach one old Pokemon a move. Yes, let's tutor up old pile of swine here. Teach it ancient power because we need that. Yes, make room for ancient power. Um, screw it, let's forget Mud Bomb. They can learn Earthquake later on, but not right now, though. Okay, now, step two, now we have step two, Pile Swine remembering ancient power. Step three, evolve Pile Swine. And now it becomes Mammoth Swine. There we go, we cut all the tedious bullshit just like that. Now Mammoth Swine, just like that. This is a, such an awesome looking Pokemon. I freaking love Mammoth Swine. It's so cool, pardon the pun. But that's the way I can say it. I first saw Mammoth Swine's design and I instantly fell in love with it. I mean, to be honest, Paula Swine was kind of a forgettable Pokemon to me. When I first saw Mammoth Swine, I was instantly taken by it. I instantly fell in love with it. It looks so awesome! It's a powerhouse too, to boot! Even with Ice Shard. Alright, we already healed our Pokémon up, so nothing new to see. Let's take a look at it. 103 base attack. This is amazing. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and train Mammoth Swine up right here and now. Okay. Yeah, you know what? This is good. In fact, just to give it a little bit of extra help, let's give it the Icicle Plate. Boosting it the power of Ice Shard to boot. Yep, with Ice Shard, it always goes first. And with power of with its base attack and power and Icicle Plate, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Now, the puzzle here, it slides. When we battle these Pokemon, we'll show you how it's tough and stuff. I'm pretty sure these guys think that's a new Pokemon. I mean, someone's got a new Pokemon. Flailey! The face Pokemon. It's just a head. That's all we need to see. Ice Beam! It's actually... It kind of looks like it's shooting a beam out of its... Dot. I could use a boost in every single set, that'd be awesome. <laughs> oh my god, that is such great timing, I love it. Alright, you know what? You're staying in there. You are thick. But the question is, will it be enough? I hope so. Why don't we fast forward right now? Yeah, we're done here. Cut. And you got it again! Oh my god, that's amazing! I just love the luck I have in this. What's with your toughness? I don't know, I just got lucky! Holy crap! 
Alright, we can just skip every single battle here until now. Yeah, it kinda is. If you can't maintain your golden belt, you'll freeze up. Okay, near plan. I'm gonna give Mi I'm gonna give Mammoth Swine here the um Actually hold on. Maybe if I have a move that can help him. Help him at least um do better in combat. Can't learn poison jab, and he has tusks. It can do fairy attack, why not poison jab? No, no okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, can't like dig? How about dig? Yeah, dig. I guess this could come in handy, right? I mean, at least until it learns Earthquake, then it'll be good to go. And better yet, why don't we all go ahead and give it Rock Tome, too? Now it should be able to stand on its own legs. Its own giant legs. Regardless, my team is now complete at this point. This is my full team and I'm standing by it. Now, time to navigate through this gym. We have to clear all of Snowballs in front just to get through there. I could have care of that side. But now, what about here? We have to battle some of these trainers. Too cold, huh? Well, go warm up, buddy! Okay. Trying to train Mammoth Swine is a bit risky, too. But, in any case, why don't I just... Just relax. Just give it a try. It's gonna come in handy. It's bitter tasting and lowers friendship, but... You know, we have medicine. And it's not like these Pokemon need friendship at this point. Not many people are going to use a turn. Actually, wait. Except Staraptor. Why don't I go ahead and give it to him? At this point, he's got maximum friendship at this point. Yeah, why don't I go ahead and do that? We get Takedown. This is a much better move than Takedown at this point. Pretty sure it's going to do max power. I'm positive it will. Okay, now how do- how in God's name do I get through this super thing? Oh boy. I'm running low on- no, I'm not reloading- I'm running low on robots. What am I saying? No. Okay. Now, what next? Okay, I already battled you. Alright, what do I do next? In order to get past this thing. Maybe I have to go over here? Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, slip slide my way to victory. Like the coolest trainer alive. Okay. There. I think we're good now. Yep, I think this path is now clear. So why don't we just go ahead and just wrap things up right now. Okay, maybe battle this lady first. Wait, um... Actually, no, you know what? Let's just not battle this trainer's person at all. Oh, right, you know what? Fine, why not? Get some more training for Mammoth Swine. Would be nice. Are you feeling all run down? A good trainer is one of wisdom with what the situation is. Okay, everybody. I'm back from the Pokemon Center. And we're ready to take down the gym leader. Candice. You want to challenge Candice? Sure thing. I was waiting for someone tough. I should really tell you. I'm tough because I know how to focus. Pokemon, fashion, romance. It's all about focus. I'll show you just what I mean. Get ready to lose. We'll see about that. Alright, gym leader number seven, Candace. She looks cheerful. I'm gonna kick your ass regardless. Okay, so sing out Sneasel. Darwin and Pearl, our team consisted of Snowbird, Sneasel, 
a bomb of Snorlax as her ace, and her fourth Pokemon was a Medicham with Ice Punch. Because of why I guess not enough Ice types to choose from. Here, her team is now a Palaswine and a Frostlass as her new ace. Because, you know, now that, now that we added more Pokemon to the Platinum decks, the variety is there, and honestly, I'm glad it's there. Because if you had Pokemon that didn't have focus on one type, you didn't really master that one type. I mean, I mean, I guess variety is good, but like gym leaders, but like gym leaders usually focus on one type because they know how to use them. And if Mamoswine didn't miss that ice, that rock tome, you could have actually gotten some more speed. You know what? It's fine. You'll get more XP when I battle Team Galactic. Because they're, they're just scrubs off the Earth. Now then. Who's gonna come out next? Is it gonna be Pileswine? Yep, Pileswine. Well. In that case, I'm going to go ahead and send out Infernape. Plus, it got the fist plate, so punching it, it's gonna shut that pile of swine to shards. Guess how to do it. Yes, excellent. No chance whatsoever. Full power. And honestly, I'm bringing out Infernape right now because of a reason. I didn't want her to bring out Obama Snow because Obama Snow. Because if she did that, and then bring out Frostlass, Obama Snow's Snow Warning would kick in. And then, Frostlass' ability has... She has an ability called Snow Cloak, which makes it... Which gives invasion in ice. So basically, I just kind of crippled it in a, in a way. Of course, Double Team also would have made things worse, too. Come on, land the hang. Thank goodness. Please be enough. I hope this is enough. Yes! Perfect! Oh yeah, and I should point out too, Frostlass is actually a female evolved form of a snow runt. And yeah, just like with, with the Curlia, male Curlias evolving into Gallade, it's only a gender. But it makes sense, because it has Frost... because it has the word Lass in its title. If it was male, I guess it would be called Frost... Lad? I don't know. And now, here's a bomb of snow. With now with the snow warning. Why well, doesn't it matter to me? Because you're about to get melted. You stand absolutely no chance whatsoever. See? Told you you didn't stand a chance. That's expected. And voila, we're done here. I must say, I warmed up to you. I might even admire you a little. Oh, great, she's com oh, she's coming on to me. Great. You're great. You've earned my respect. I think your focus and will bowl us over totally. And here's the badge. The icicle badge from Candace. Yep. You can use the move rock climb anytime, even if you're in a battle. And we got the TM for Avalanche, which pretty much which is an ice type attack. It deals more damage if but it causes the opponent to go, but it causes the user to go last. 